Hello everybody, Dan here. Welcome back to Daily Soap Dish. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button down below because we cover a ton of 90 Day Fiance right here on the channel. Let's get right into it, guys. Today's story is about Josh Weinstein's son, Jet. Now, you guys know that Josh's son, Jet, was involved in a deadly car crash. Now, Jet is still alive, but his friend who uh, was driving the car uh, did not make it. Uh, it was a very um, disturbing um, accident that happened, and Jet did lose one of his legs in the process. He was able to make a miraculous uh, recovery, and uh, supposedly he had a very small chance of, um, you know, even just keeping one of his legs and, and making a comeback. And so it's pretty miraculous that he he is where he is today. So this is the story for today. It's an update about what's going on with Josh's son, Jen. And of course, um, you know, we see here a picture of Natalie and Josh. And so Natalie and Josh, you know, they've been kind of breaking up and then getting back together. And of course, the last video we did about Natalie and Josh had to do with basically Natalie being accused at the tell-all of being Josh's sugar baby. And Natalie didn't believe it. Uh, she was kind of shocked when the allegations flew her way from Tim and the rest of the cast. She was shocked. She was in disbelief. She started even crying. But as the facts were being laid at her feet, it became more and more apparent that indeed she kind of meets all of you know the check marks for what a sugar baby is. Basically, Josh doesn't want to introduce Natalie to uh, you know to his family, to his kids. He kind of keeps her at a distance, gives her money, and meets her at hotels, and basically has sex with her. And so, <laughs> sounds a lot like a sugar baby, but of course, uh, Natalie did not like uh, you know where that was going and had a bit of a breakdown. But when we did that video, many people kind of saw it like that too. That Natalie basically is a sugar baby. All right. So Joshua Weinstein's son, Jet, reaches incredible milestone after tragic car accident. So um, he had a car accident uh, in early February 2004 uh, and 24 and lost his right leg. And now he's giving a recovery update. So um, he survived a devastating car accident and is showing a warrior spirit in his recovery journey. Josh has shared updates on Jet's progress via Instagram with Jet now off the ventilator and moving to a rehab center. Despite losing a leg in the crash, he remains determined to pursue his love for sports and he wants to get back to snowboarding, which I believe is what they were doing, um, you know, uh, where they were in, in Arizona, I believe. Uh, they were doing something like snowboarding. Now, Josh Weinstein's son, Jed, is revealing how he's doing now following his life-changing uh, accident. Josh currently stars in season four with Natalie Mordovtseva and their relationship is best described as complicated. Josh and Natalie met during a modeling workshop organized by his company in Florida three years ago. Natalie chose Josh to be her partner after Mike Youngquist and moved to L.A. to start a new life. Now, Josh couldn't get himself to commit to Natalie who wanted a baby with him. Natalie broke up with Josh in the finale. But of course, you know, there were there's been rumors that they got back together ever since then. So, you know, it's unclear just how close they are, but there are rumors that they got back together since then. Now, um, Josh suffered a fatal blow uh, on the family front when his son Jet met with a devastating car accident, and he is now giving an update on his son's recovery via his Instagram. So he shared a photo of a group of school children standing outside a school building. Jet was one of the kids. He was in a wheelchair in front of the group. Josh wrote that it was Jet's first day back at school. My guy is a warrior. Uh, Jet's proud father uh, exclaimed while tagging his son in the story. Now, what exactly happened here? So on February 5th, Josh revealed the heartbreaking news of his son's accident on Instagram. He was asking his fans for prayers while sharing photos of Jet in the post. He revealed that Jet had been in a car accident and was airlifted out. According to Josh, Jet had already lost his battle with his right leg and was fighting for his life at the time. Josh was uh, completely devastated as he reached out to his fans and cast members uh, to send positive thoughts and words of kindness. He shared a fundraising link to raise money for his treatment. So this is a picture of uh, Josh's son, Jet, here. Um, let's see it. It's right here. So two weeks ago, um, this was um, this was back in February that he shared this. Two weeks ago, our, our lives came to a standstill 
as Joe was involved in a tragic car accident. As we hit the two-week mark, we have been through every emotion imaginable and still have a long journey ahead. We appreciate all the love, thoughts, and prayers. They have helped so much. This is the beginning of Jet's story and what he was meant to achieve and accomplish. He is meant for something great, and though this may be a minor setback, we will accomplish uh, greatness. Uh, and um, let's see if he posted anything else. So, you know, Josh still doing his social media content and, uh, you know, he, he, he owns this company preview models. And so he is doing, this is what Josh does here. So he's, you know, he's working here with Mario Lopez. Um, and so, you know, Josh is supposedly uh, very rich. Now, when I spoke about Josh in the last video that I did, some of you had questions about how much money does he really have? So. I don't think we really know how much money Josh has. Uh, it's unclear. But, you know, rumors are going around that he's a millionaire. But some people are saying that perhaps he doesn't have as much money as, uh, you know, he lets us believe. Of course, very possible as well. Now, we know that uh, if he was flaunting wealth that he doesn't have, he wouldn't exactly be the first one. Of course, we know Jabri and Miona in their world. They're multimillionaires. Miona's, um, you know, business, uh, you know, cheap. Alibaba business that she has where she purchases cheap Chinese junk from Alibaba at very low prices and then tries to resell that at two, three, maybe four times the cost through her website, which doesn't see a lot of traffic because I've looked at it or her Instagram, but supposedly they've made millions on that. And I still don't really quite believe that. So I don't think it would be the first time that uh, someone would flaunt. Well, they don't have obviously, but I think in Josh's case, he at least appears to be uh, more wealthy, obviously, than Jabri and Miona, who were just like the biggest posers ever. So the Go GoFundMe that he has done uh, has received here. Let's see how much it has received to this day. So 34158 He's trying to um, raise $50,000. Now, Josh revealed that Jet was finally awake and off the ventilator back in February. Doctors placed a rod in Jet's left femur. He had several stitches and staples, but Josh was proud of his son. Jet was allowed to move to a rehabilitation center in a week. There was a possibility that Jet could have lost both of his legs since an entire guardrail was uh, stuck on his body, not allowing him to get up after the impact. Jet's co-passenger, Jackson Elliott, was killed in the crash. It was later revealed that Jet was returning home from snowboarding with Jackson when the car hit a guardrail. The guardrail has speared or had speared into the car, and it basically killed uh, Jet's friend, Jackson Elliott, on impact. Jet himself had a 5% chance of survival, and uh, he used to play football at school. Even though he's lost his leg, Jet is not giving up on his love for sports. So Jet has said that he's, he's planning on going back to uh, snowboarding, um, you know, as, as soon as he can, basically. So he's he's not phased at all by, uh, you know, by the incident. And so that's that's the latest that we have. Um, and so we can see here that Josh is doing more stuff. Let's see what he does. So he, um, yeah, this is what he does. So preview models, basically, his company, uh, you know, they, they try to give models from like not usa from different countries basically people like natalie mordovceva uh people from ukraine or other countries uh they try to give them a chance and put them in front of the uh, la audience so when i say audience i mean the the who's who of the la mo modeling industry and so i guess josh in a way he's connected uh with rich and, and powerful people in the modeling industry and his job is to uh, find models and put them in front of these people. Basically, give them an opportunity in the USA, but LA in particular. And so that's what he does. And I think this is a big reason why Natalie, you know, was involved with Josh. I think she saw the possibility of Josh providing her with some of these opportunities, um, you know, in modeling, but also perhaps uh, it could lead to acting. And things of that nature now i don't really think that natalie has really had a lot of success in terms of her acting career uh, in la and of course the acting industry is um you know age um they discriminate on age and so natalie is pushing 40 by now and she hasn't really started her career in the usa as an actress and so it's not likely 
that she'll ever achieve much in terms of acting, maybe besides get a gig here and there. But I really think that this was a big reason why her and Josh hooked up uh, in the first place. And so this is a recap of what he did here. I can't tell you what that is just yet, but I just arrived here in Hollywood, California, and it is time for the Spring 2024 preview presentation. I'm ready to kick it off. So, there you go. Recap of March. That, that, that's basically what he does. Now, I like I said, guys, some of you have questions about Josh's wealth and whatnot. It's hard to tell just looking at what he does here on social media. It's really hard to tell if he is indeed being truthful or not about uh, you know how much money he really has. But he seems to be connected. He's working with people like Mario Lopez and uh, other celebrities. And so... That's the story for today. I just wanted to kind of go over a little bit of what Josh does because uh, a lot of people have questions about that, right? Anytime that we hear, oh, he's a multimillionaire, and then people are like, well, what does he do exactly? And so that's what Josh does. Uh, and so his son looks to be making um, you know, a very good comeback. Only had a 5% chance of surviving uh, the incident. It's, it's crazy. His co-passenger and his friend was uh, killed on impact, so... Uh, my hopes and prayers go to Jet. I hope that he can live his dreams of doing snowboarding and doing everything that he can. Uh, I can't imagine being in that kind of accident and the kind of mental toll that it takes on you to see your your friend uh, killed on impact right next to you and uh, to lose your leg. It's uh, it's absolutely crushing. It, it's just it, it really breaks my heart just thinking about it. But uh, I'm glad that he's alive. And has survived and seems to be recovering just well. So that's the video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Uh, if you did, hit that subscribe button down below for more content right here on the channel. Now, I do want to ask you guys, let me know in the comment section, since we are talking about Josh and a little, a little bit about Natalie. What do you guys make of Josh and Natalie? Do you guys think they have a chance of, of working out? Now, you know, it's rumored that they broke up, but it's also rumored that they got back together. Do you guys think that there is a chance for this couple of working out long term? Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about that. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.